Twitter would not consider a quote from the Bible, the Koran, the Torah as, as hate speech, uh, and has not. Uh, the context matters and what the relationships and what the purpose of the speech is. All right, social media giants Facebook and Twitter facing a grilling on Capitol Hill over allegations that they censor conservative users. So let's bring in Republican Senator from Texas, Ted Cruz. He led the charge today, chairman of the big tech censorship investigation hearing. Great to have you with us. Shannon, always fun to be with you. Okay, so listen, I want to talk about one of your Democratic counterparts, Senator Maisie Hirono, who says um, there's much ado about nothing. Essentially, she says we cannot simply allow the Republican Party to harass tech companies into weakening content moderation policies that already fail to remove hateful dangerous and misleading content. If conservatives have had their content removed, maybe they should look at the content they're posting. Well, you look, unfortunately, that is more and more the views of the extreme left, which is they say, if, if, if you don't want to be censored, just don't say things we disagree with. And, 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 and that's really the arrogance. We see that on college campuses. We see that in big tech. And, you know, we had testimony today. For example, we had the producer of the movie Unplanned, a phenomenal movie, true story of Abby Johnson, former clinic director of Planned Parenthood, who became a pro-life activist, Unplanned had Google refused to run their ads, Twitter took down their web page, they did everything they could. The, the, the big networks all refused to carry their, their, their ads, and nonetheless it became the number four movie in the country. It's in the theaters right now. Mm -hmm. And yet, and we see this pattern over and over again. We, we heard testimony from the Susan B. Anthony list about how repeatedly uh, pro-life tweets, pro-life posts have been censored. You know, we had during the hearing today, I put up a, a, a tweet that was sent out from the Susan B. Anthony list, a quote from Mother Teresa that Twitter censored. And I asked Twitter, I said, do you consider this quote from Mother Teresa to be hate speech? They refused to answer that. And, and that pattern of censorship, it's really dangerous. And, and, and none of us should be happy to have a handful of left-wing Silicon Valley billionaires censoring what is said and silencing conservatives, silencing Christians, silencing people of faith. That, 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 that's not right, and, and we've, we've got to act to stop it. Okay, quickly, because I want to get to some other topics. These are private companies. They are. And, and so much of what the hearing today talked about, listen, the problem is serious. The remedy's complicated. I will readily admit the remedy's complicated. But there's one remedy I talked about quite a bit today, which is the tech companies have a special immunity from liability that Congress has passed called Section 230 of the Communication Decency Act. It means you can't sue Twitter and Google and Facebook if they commit libel, if they, they commit slander. Look, if you libel someone on air, Fox News can be sued, but Twitter and Google, they can't be sued. And, and the whole reason Congress gave them that immunity from liability is it was based on the idea that they would be neutral public forums. In other words, they wouldn't be speaking, it would be other people speaking. Well, they're now engaged as partisan left-wing political speakers. There's no reason on earth they should have a special immunity from liability that protects them in a way that nobody else is protected. Okay, lightning round on our other topics. Okay, Senator Sanders today, and, uh, he rolled out Medicaid, Medicare for all. Um, he's got several Democratic co-sponsors. Most of them are running for president in mm -hmm. 2020. Um, today, Senator Gillibrand says, it's vital to humanity. It must be a right, not a privilege, health care coverage for everyone. Well, look, the Democratic Party as a whole is galloping to the left. You know, it used to be just a few years ago, Bernie Sanders one that was on the extreme fringe. Now the entire Democratic field is agreeing with Bernie Sanders, an avowed socialist. Socialist medicine doesn't work. Medicare for all, you know, you, you actually slipped up and called it Medicaid for all. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's in fact what it would be. And, and one of the consequences of it, look, millions of Americans, millions of seniors have paid into Medicare for decades. What Medicare for All is talking about doing is taking millions of people that haven't paid into the system, including illegal aliens, putting them on Medicare, which would bankrupt Medicare and hurt all of the millions of Americans who rely on it. It's wrong and, and it's dangerous, but it's where the Democratic Party is. All right. I want to quickly get you to comment on Yale Law School. Yeah. Um, the fact that they will not pay um, students or help them with loan forgiveness programs and yes. other things if the students choose to go work for faith-based organizations that they say are discriminatory yeah. because these groups may be against things like same-sex marriage. Um, a student there writes this. He says, Cruz flagrantly misrepresented Yale's policy and belied his own poor record on free speech and religious freedom. He says, you talk tough against intolerance, but when it comes to fighting discrimination and protecting constitutional rights, you're all hat and no cattle. I know he used that because you're from Texas. Uh, well, look, I, it, it is not surprising to see left-wing activists on, on universities, including Yale, who, who want to censor speech. 
And so the Constitution Subcommittee, the Senate Judiciary Committee, which I chair, uh, has announced an investigation into Yale's discrimination based on religious faith. We're, we're going to examine what they're doing, and it is illegal under federal law, under federal civil rights law, to discriminate based on religious faith. And, 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 and if Yale gets away with this, this is the canary in the coal mine. Every other law school will follow, all the other schools will follow. And by the way, you know what the group outlaws asked for initially? They asked Yale, don't admit conservative students. If you believe marriage is the union of one man and one woman, if you believe a man is a man and a woman is a woman, don't, don't admit those students to Yale. That is extreme bigotry, and, and we can't let that stand. All right, we got to go, but I got to put this up, and if you want to make any comment, this is your, your selfie tweet at the end of the NCAA championship, and a lot of folks uh, thought you might have jinxed them. Anything you want to say in your defense as we go? I, I want to say that the Texas Tech Red Raiders did a phenomenal job. They made it uh, to the national championship. They made it to overtime. Tragically, they fell just short. But, uh, but your selfie's not to blame. Uh, look, I am <laughs> proud to cheer on every Texas team, and I, and I will keep right. on cheering, and Texas is going to win more championships going forward. All right. Senator, thanks for coming in. Always a pleasure. Good to have you.